The Dunedin City Council's annual plan deliberations are now over and its budget is set for the next financial year. With so much demand for funding, councillors have been unable to satisfy every request and maintain the preferred rates take. Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull joins us to discuss the highs and lows of annual planning. Good evening, Dave. Good evening. Are you pleased with the outcome? Yes, I am actually. It's a third year in a row that we have come in uh, at the limit we set. Um, the two years ago it was 5%, last year 4%, this year 3%. And that's in a context where the, the predicted rates rises for those years were well above that. So we've come in on where we said we would and we've managed to repay more debt as well. Is there anything that you think should have got funding but missed out? I don't know about should have, but there are a whole lot of things I'd have liked to have funded. That we, but that's the case pretty much every year. Has this year's process been made any more difficult than in previous years? No, I thought this year's process was as good as it's ever been. We got a huge number of submitters. It was over 1,100, mm. uh, so it was a very long process. But there were some extremely good and some very positive submissions. It was an enjoyable process. What's the greatest challenge for councillors when they're debating this plan? I think the greatest challenge is that you get a lot of submissions on the budget and you get a lot of submissions on all sorts of other things, and they're all valid. And it's focusing and being able to focus on the budget as you go through and finding ways of, of maybe directing those other submissions to committee meetings later on so you can you can really do them justice. Do you think ratepayers and residents in general understand this annual plan process? Over 1,100 of them did. Mm. They came. Uh, I think there's always room for educating the community but it's, it's pretty straightforward. We set a budget, we we put it out for consultation, we ask some other questions around it and the community comes in and tells us about it and then we, then we make decisions. It's not that, it's not that complicated. Mm. Tell us about the key issues that have been addressed in this plan. The, we ask three questions in the consultation and the first one, three specific questions as well as asking people to feedback on the budget in general. The first one was the sequencing of the Portobello Road shared path uh, in, uh, improvements, which part we did first. The second was Ethical investment, ethical investing, we ask people, do, do they want the council to take a socially responsible um, or to apply socially responsible criteria to their investing? And the third one was, are the community happy with the spending some money incentivising heritage building owners to maintain or strengthen their buildings? And we got a, a tremendous number of submissions on those things. Now the stadium is obviously a major issue. Do you think there'll ever be a time when it's fully accepted by the community? Oh, probably not. There'll always be a, a group in the community who just refuse to move on from the perfectly justifiable arguments of four years ago, five years ago. But now we have it and uh, we want to make it operate not only as well as it can, but to the best advantage of the city. Because we know that when we get a big event in the stadium, a whole lot of um, money comes into the, into, mm. into the city. Mm. Is the council in a good financial position? It is in a good financial position. We're um, now uh, uh, paying down more debt each year than we borrow, and we're pushing that the time frame for debt repayment right down. Standard & Poor's put us back up a while ago to stable uh, on a rating, so yeah, we're in a good position. Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull, thank you so much for your time. Thanks.